Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but I want to mention that you will have a, this is a question where we assume you have a calculator. So you might get a calculator, take a moment, give it a shot, you can do it. Let's start by reading it together. Uh, it says that a box contains nine identical glass spheres that are used to make snow globes, and the spheres are tightly packed as shown below. So we have these glass spheres inside what looks like a box, and they want to know what is the total volume in cubic inches of all nine spheres round your answer to the nearest tenth of a cubic inch. So all nine spheres, I want to underline that because I'll forget that. And they're giving us the volume of the, form uh, the formula for the volume of the sphere. They're also telling us that it's, it's 12 inches across these three spheres. And when they say they're tightly packed, you can tell what they mean is there's no space between those spheres. So we can begin to analyze them because this 12 inches is now cut into three diameters, right? Each diameter is going to be 12 divided by 3, or 4 inches, right? So let's break this down. The diameter of each sphere is 4. The radius is half of the diameter, which is 2. And then we can plug it into our volume formula. Volume equals 4 thirds times pi times 2 cubed, right? And that's for one, but I want nine volumes, nine spheres, so I take this number and multiply it by nine. Now I can plug it straight into the calculator, um, but I'm also going to simplify a little bit. This three and this nine, uh, we can group those together first because it's all multiplication here, nine, and then times one third is three. So this three we don't need to enter in. There's three here. And then three times, well, two to the third is eight, so we have four times pi times eight times three. And this is 24 times four, which is 96 times pi, and that's our answer. Uh, but they want the total volume in nearest tenth, so on the calculator, you can plug this in. 96, and then every calculator has a pi button somewhere, times second pi for me here. Hit enter, and now I'm going to round the nearest tenth, 301.6. And we're going to label it cubic inches. Now, just to show you, we could enter this whole thing into a calculator if we don't want to simplify it first. Fractions, um, all you have to do is enter division, right? So 4 divided by 3 is 4 thirds times, I use parentheses as well. If you don't have parentheses, just do 4 divided by 3, hit enter, and then use that number, press times pi and times 8 and so forth. But we're going to enter the whole thing, times pi times parentheses 2 to the power of 3. This is the power button right here. And I'm stuck up here in the exponent. I'm going to go back and delete that. Press right to get out of the exponent. And then that times 9. And we'll get the same number. Hit enter. You can see the same number there. Uh, but this time we enter the whole formula in. So you might practice doing that. Sometimes it's easy to uh, mess up entering a, um, a longer formula into the calculator. All right, I hope this helps.